welcome back to the spiders web and in this video we are focusing on two particular characters well one particular character and one of the um, squad uh, chaps uh, this is one of the guards and this I think is the guard leader or guard captain um, I was asked by um, Louis Ten Cortez, I think it was, if I could show how I paint these because he's having trouble with them. So let's do this, shall we? <laughs> right. So uh, where do we start? Well, we're going to start with the flesh tones as we usually do, and for this we're going to be doing or using Kisler flesh for both characters. So we'll get some Kisler flesh on our palette. And I'm putting a bit out because I've got quite a few more of these guards to paint. So once I've painted these I can go ahead and carry on with others. Um, so that's that. We'll get a little bit of water on our palette, and sorry, on our brush rather. We already have water on our palette, it's a wet palette after all. And we are using our size zero rosemary coal brush. I hope you can see that there. And we'll just paint the skin. On these characters, and as you can see, we're using very, very watered down paint. It will need probably a couple of um, passes with the paintbrush before it's covered up properly. And there we are. And we're just trying to get all the flesh. Um, cover looks like he's wearing gloves. Well, that's it. That's the flesh of that fella. Um, it looks like this fella's wearing gloves as well. So it's just the face again. So not much in the line of flesh tone to worry about. I'm not bothered about getting any of this colour on the primer. There we are. So that's that. Next, we want something to make it look as though he's wearing leather armour. And for that, I think we will use um, what? 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 No, I don't want that one. Let's try that one. Yeah. And for that, we will use Scrag Brown. This is for the what? We want to be leather armor. So I'll get some of this and I'll pull it. Clean that brush and let's have a look. Okay, so let's get some water on our brush and get on here. And all these areas we're going to do with the Scrag Brown.
least our first coat as I say we probably will need to come back when this is dry to give it a second coat to make it look um, right now what we're going to do is take some of this scrub brown and some of the Kizzler flesh mix them together to make it slightly paler and we can do this area here Looks like a leather neck guard. And I think that may be what's going on there. As I've said before, I'm not an armory expert, so I don't know whether or not this is right, but that's what I'm going to be doing. And I've forgotten that I am, so I need to rinse my brush off. Give it a bit of a dry and then go back into the scrub brown and do this arm which I forgot to do. the wrong bit but never mind. Not to worry. Not to worry. That is <coughs> how I see this going. And again we have that little bit round his throat. So we'll use we mixed earlier there's not much of a difference but there is a difference in shade there we are and I'll bring that down from under the helmet as well There we are. Next, the metal bits. Now, the metal bits, as you usually are aware, I do um, with a dark metallic colour and then put a highlight metallic colour over the top. So that's what I'm going to do again. Um, I've got all the paints down here on the table. But we're going to carry on with Warplock Bronze. Um, so the ones that are actually on the table in front of me I'm not going to be using. Probably. Um, they were just out from another job I was doing. Um, there we are. So, let's 
get some war clock bronze on the go and this is going to go over everywhere that I think or that looks like it's going to be metallic to do the inside of his leg because I've missed that as well but I think that is it for that part in fact I am going to go back and do the brown now because that way if I get it all done and it's ready at the same time I can wash so um, I'll do that I'll fast forward Okay, there we are, that's the um, the brown areas and leather areas done. Now I'll just have another quick revisit to the um, face of both men and I'll just add the coat to the faces of the soldiers a very very small amount of paint is needed because there's a lot of a 
how it is and as you can see it's building up too much in the eye sockets there we are so that's the browns <coughs> and the metals done and the face now there's a couple of other areas that I'm going to use um, that I'm going to paint in now. Um, there are some little cloth areas in here that I want to add some colour to. And for this colour we're going to use corn red. So I'll put some of that on our palette. Like so. On red, a little bit of water on our brush, my puff. Here we go, and we'll just go over the cloth areas. Yeah, that are going to be red. Make sure you go underneath. You might not see it when you're playing, but when all said and done, you know it's there if it's painted. Make sure that the red area is done on both sides. Like so. And we'll also do some up here as well. I think we may change later on. I think that might be the leather strap that holds on the chest and back plate, so... There we are. And I'm also going to use a little mix of the Kisler Flesh with the Corn Red to make a weird little colour. I'm going to use that this weird little colour for this part here. Which we brush out while I Get some fresh corn red, and this corn red can go. In fact, I'm going to use corn red on him. Oh. What I'm going to use on him is a completely different colour altogether than corn red. Um, I don't want it red at all. Um, 
Here we are. No, it's not. Well, I had it then, but I haven't. It's not that one, it's not that one. It's not that one. There we go. We're going to be using Bane Blade Brown. For him. So we'll bring that onto the palette. Once again, there's quite a bit of this, so we will put quite a bit on. Okay. What on a brush? And here we go. Now I have an idea for the belts and the strappings and stuff um, but I'm going to do that after it's been washed um, because I think it would be better doing it that way than trying to do it now and then washing it You'll see later. <laughs> After all that, I do need to go back into the metal uh, colour that we used. The war pluck bronze, or whatever it may have been. The idea is to get a smooth overall coverage um, depending on the model I'm painting sometimes I don't bother for a smooth coverage if I'm painting something like an arc I'll just slap the colour on wash it because I think it looks much more realistic um, but for something like this that has a military aspect to it. You want it looking clean, you want it looking nice. Um, depending obviously on what kind of soldier it is, it is really if it's a soldier that you think has been out fighting in the fields then you can get away with not having a even coverage because when you wash it it looks a little bit uneven it looks a little bit grimy it gives that dirty used look but for a gird like this then I would imagine would be more in keeping with standing in a palace or some kind of building like that rather than actually out fighting I may be wrong I'm no expert on the military um, ranking system. It's just what is in my head. There we are. So that's 
<coughs> we get done. As I say, I want to go back into the metal colour that we used because there are areas, some little areas, but areas nonetheless that I've missed. I just want to tear it up a little bit here and there. So that's for him. There we are. I just need to pay a visit into this colour that we mix for the little neck protector. Like so. Let's have another look at this fella. I'll give this guy another going over with it as well. And we have we have archers as well, guard archers. Um, like I said we'll be doing these the archers in a very similar manner to the guards. They won't be having the similar, if not the same, colour scheme. So once you've done one, what well, you've done, we've done them all. Um, well, I think when I was saying about I'm going to change some of the things afterwards, like the strapping and things, I think I'm going to do that now actually. Um, when I confirm the colour I want, I'm sure I had it here a minute ago. What have I done with it? Bizarre. I haven't just I'll put it back. <laughs> so there we are, we're going to be using Doom Bull Brown. Very similar to the red, but more brownish than red. We won't need a lot of this. And uh, let's put that over there. And then we can have a look at the straps. The scabbards for the Swords are going to be done in black because I think that looks nice. Um, so I'm thinking that is more a strap that goes over the shoulder for the chest and back plate. can do that a bit above the bit that bit on the leg just above his Wellington his boots Wellington above his boots um, I'm going to do that um, what we call it I'm going to do that in this corner as well and I think really that is it um, is there anything else on there um, Thinking actually that that looks quite metallic. But we have this belt here that goes across his chest and the belt that goes around his waist.
as I said, these are the colour schemes that I'm. This is the colour scheme that I'm going for. If you don't like this particular colour scheme and you would like a different one, then by all means, do your own colours. That is what I'm supposed to. There's nothing at all that says you have to do the same colours as me. If you see other people's images, even if you see them from the actual company that makes the games, unless it's a specific army that you really should do a particular colour, then there is no reason why you shouldn't make your own colour schemes up. I'm also going to do the gloves in this colour as well. We'll nip back into the metallic colour just for a second while I correct the, this bit I've missed and this bit here that I've missed. Just check everywhere now to make sure I've got everything that I think I should have. Yes, I need to get back into the bin blade brown just to touch up a couple of things and then once that's done I can look at washes then. Um, Just look at, as I say, washes, and <coughs> for the main part of the leather areas, we're going to be using an old favourite, Agrax Earthshade. So, let's get our brush. Go over these areas with the Agrax of the shade. Now we're not going over all of the areas that we painted scrag brown with this colour. Some of them will be done in a different colour. I'm also going to go over the um, watch my comments as well. The um, oh dear lord, what's it called? The dimble brown areas with this. But I'm not touching the the red areas if I can help it. If I go over the metallic areas that's fine. In fact in some cases it might be 
a good idea to go over them. But that's the guard sergeants, or whatever it may be, done. Next we'll do the guard and his arms and I'm going to go over the being blade brown as well. In fact, the guard I can go over all of it with this because I don't need to be as fussy. The area I'm not going over is this with this is his face. That is the Agrax Earthshade wash done. There's going to be another wash done with a different colour in a moment. And that colour is this one, Reichland Flesh Shade. Guess where this is going? <laughs> yes, it's going on it on the faces. So I'm just on the faces and on this little neck. Bad thingy. himself and now this chap he's completely washed but there is one more colour that I want to use for the boots of the leader as well as the red areas and that is well, that you may not be expecting built on green mm. going to give a slightly different look and feel to this guy. Like I say, it's going to go over the red areas and the boots. Usually, when I'm doing this, I use a Keely Green Shed, but this time I've changed my mind. So do this bit back here. There we are. And that is our chappy done. Right, so they're both sorted. They're both done and uh, washed. So what we're going to do now is leave them until the wash dries. And when we come back, we will carry on. But this is how they look so far. Um, but that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Until we get back to these, take care, God bless, and bye.